Hi everyone, welcome and welcome back to my channel. On today's menu, we have this classic red beans and rice recipe. Absolutely flavorful, very easy to follow. But before we begin, please take a second to subscribe if you're new here. If you like today's recipe, don't forget to thumbs it up and let's get started. All right, guys, here's what you need to make today's recipe. I will leave all the measurements below. And here I have about a teaspoon of crab boil. We have some fresh parsley chopped. And also we have some bay leaves to add some nice earthy flavor in there. I have about one tablespoon of minced garlic, about two tablespoons of unsalted butter. We have some hot and dewy sausage. It's extremely spicy by the way. Some finely chopped green bell peppers, celery, and some red onions. And also for the seasoning, we're using onion and garlic powder, smoked paprika, thyme, oregano, ground black pepper with some Creole seasoning, and we have our red kidney beans. You can soak these overnight if you like, but today we're just using them as they are, and you will need about six cups of chicken broth. All right, let's get started. And to a saucepan, I am going to melt my two tablespoons of butter so I can give my sausage a nice little color before we start cooking it. Now you can add any other type of protein in there if you like, but today we're just gonna keep it simple. We're using into wheat sausage only as the protein. Now I'm going to flip them over, allow the other side to be seared as well. Now I am going to remove the sausage, set them aside, and I am going to saute my vegetables. I am going to add my bell peppers in there as well as the celery and also the onions. We're going to saute these for about 30 seconds to one minute until they're nice and soft. Now I'm going to be cooking the garlic after, I'm so sorry, all the steam was getting into the camera. That was a bad idea, <laughs> having the camera that way. But now I am going to cook my minced garlic. I, I like to cook it after because I don't want to burn it. So I'm going to cook it for about 30 seconds. Then I am going to be adding my sausage back in there. And also I am going to pour the kidney beans in there as well and make sure you wash those those are nicely washed now I'm going to add the parsley as well as the crab boil do not skip the crab boil because it adds a very distinct flavor to this dish so don't skip it and also I'm going to add my seasoning with the bay leaves and we're going to give that a quick stir just like that and then we'll add the chicken broth. Now I didn't have six cups of chicken broth. I ended up adding about two cups of water, but that is okay. It's fine, it's not gonna make or break the dish. If you don't have chicken broth, you can use water. Of course, the chicken broth will add more flavor. So I'm going to stir it just like so. Now I'm going to allow this to simmer on medium low heat for about three hours. Once it's done, you guys, the flavor that is on here is absolutely breathtaking. It's so flavorful. I'm not going to lie, it was very spicy because the andouille sausage that I'm using is the hot one. If you can, use the mild one, but it was absolutely flavorful. I 
I added some fresh parsley to garnish and there you guys have it, some Louisiana style red beans and rice. This is definitely a classic, you cannot go wrong with this one, very easy to follow. And this is a must try dish. Thank you so much for watching today's recipe. Don't forget to hit it with a like if you enjoyed it, if it was helpful, if you liked the video. And also don't forget to subscribe if you're new here. If you like this video, you're probably going to like my other recipes. Let me know down below in the comments, how do you make your red kidney beans and rice? And I will see you guys on the next recipe. Bye guys.